the season one reloaded update is here. So that means we got shipment and a new gun. So let's go ahead and get that gun gold. But before we get the Shamara gold, we're going to have to unlock it. And I'm almost positive I'm saying that wrong. So let me look it up real quick. Chimera. Okay, so the Chimera. And to unlock it, we need to either extract it from DMZ Building 21, which I have no idea what that is, or get two operator kills with an assault rifle in 15 separate matches. I think we're gonna go ahead and do that one instead because I'm almost positive that you can just get two kills back out and do it again. So I'm just gonna grab this blueprint that I have right here for the 74U. We'll toss a quick camo on it and let's go ahead and unlock this thing. And it looks like we do have a shipment 24 seven playlist, but they did remove the shoot house playlist, which has me a little concerned because if this is anything like model for 2019 and they just removed the playlist that we used to grind camos, this is not gonna be good for us. But anyways, let's hop into shipment and get this thing unlocked. All right, this is my first time on the new shipment. It looks pretty good so far. A little dark, a little rainy. Weather don't look good today, but still the same old shipment. We just need two kills on it and we can back out of here. That's one. And that's two. Get me out. Did that count for progress towards unlocking it? Oh, it did. See, that's one game. Easy. All right, let me crank the rest of these out real quick. Oh, and they moved over the XP token thing. It used to be right over here next to your queuing thing. And now it's over here. And it looks like you can actually tell how long it's going for. All right, let's see if it makes it harder now. Me to my dick. And now we should have it unlocked, right? Go ahead and show me the pop-up. Oh, yeah, it said I extracted it from the building in whatever 21, but I really didn't. All right, now that we have our Chimera unlocked, let's go ahead and check out the new camos added with it. Each new gun that comes out, we get four new camos, and are these any good? So we have charcoal. I, I'm not sure if it's actually displaying on there or if that's just default. No, that's the camo. Wow, real, real exciting one right there. We have Aztec, which is like digital fall camo. Not awful. Not great either. We got Diabolical. The gunsmith ain't really helping with his lighting right now, but it looks like a little hex pattern, Red Tiger. And then Snow Leopard. Basically just a Snow Leopard. Nothing too crazy here. But for the challenges, 50 kills, pretty standard. 20 hip fire kills, not bad. Double kills, also not terrible, especially with shipment out. And 15 kills from behind. This is my most hated challenge, but I think shipment will make this a lot easier because you're probably going to end up spawning behind people a lot. The spawns in this game are just completely fucked. And apparently, a new feature of this update, if you have any weapons platinum you've been working towards polyatomic, it'll tell you you got zero. Hopefully that's just a visual error and it didn't actually reset all my progress. Let me check a gun real quick. So I just got this platinum. It already has the platinum camo on there. Okay, so it didn't get rid of any of my platinums. It just shows that I have none and I'm only like 10 guns away. But anyways, let's hop in, start leveling this thing up and getting some camos for it. All right, let's see how it does. Absolutely no attachments level one. I really wish I had some double weapon XP. It would go hard on some shipment right now. Okay. I know, that guy probably had zero health, but that immediately killed him. Also, I'm using my, my weapon XP class where I got my my double decoys, my triple decoys, actually. Well, I might as well just show you it. Uh, we got this perk package here, extra tactical, restock, and DDoS with the decoys and throwing knives. So I'm just going to be tossing these around all day until we get this thing fully leveled. And that's the game. Glad I could join a game in progress. Joining a game in progress on shipment, it, it, sh it should not happen. These games are five seconds long anyways. So far, this gun seems pretty decent. It's a, like a SMG AR hybrid almost. Thing shoots pretty fast, kills pretty fast. It's not bad. This thing's gotta be a monster once we actually get attachments for it. Okay, first weapon level. Took a little bit, but we got there. Oh, this gun's sweet. Oh, why is there such a far back corner over here? Why can I actually go all the way over here? This is sickening. But you know what? If it's gonna help me raise my KD, fuck it. We already got an advanced UAV. Wait, I can get shot through that? What? Is that just a wall bangable spot? Or did he know I was there? Like, well, why is he pre-firing that? Holy shit, everybody's in this box. And I already have another VTOL ready. Well, he's got one up. I love shipment. This map's great. We're gonna have this thing gold in no time. Throw down another VTOL just for fun. Oh! This map is amazing. I missed this. I am still pretty concerned, though, that they took out Shoe House. Uh, in Modern for 2019, there's a huge problem with anytime there's any kind of update, shoot the ship will be removed. Shoe House 24-7 will be removed. Or Shipment 24-7 will be removed. I have a feeling that we're going to be left with all the base game maps again at some point for no reason. And that's what really, really pissed me off about Modern for 2019. So they better not do that again. And by the way, VTOL number three is coming in. This is the most brainless fun map of all time. We're on to four VTOLs. Oh, we got 69 kills. Shout out sex. And that's the game. Ended it with 70. 70 and 35. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. And out of that, we were at like half a level. Made it all the way to, I think, level six. Oh, seven, actually. And we still didn't get enough kills for this. What? 
Our VTOL must have been putting in work. And we need to get to level nine to start working on our hip fire kills, but I might as well just make a hip fire build for this already. And this looks like a decent build for hip fire. Now let's see how this thing handles hip fire. Okay, probably not the best example. Probably shouldn't go for like dumb long range. Oh, that's not bad. This is actually pretty good. There we go. First weapon challenge done. Our 50 kills are out of the way. Now we just need to get two more levels so we can actually get hip fire progress. Camos are going to get done so much faster now. You're going to see everybody and their mother have Orion after this. Actually, maybe not long shots. Long shots, there's still no, like, real fast way to do it. Especially now if, like, you're getting them on shoe house and now that's gone. Good luck, buddy. Oh, there we go. Level 9. Now we just got to really focus on our hip fires and knock that challenge out of the way. Honestly, the spawns in this don't seem too horrible this time around. It's, it's not the worst. There are some moments where you're just spawning and dying, but that's just kind of shipment. But most of the time, I'm not like spawning right in front of where somebody's shooting. We got to be getting so close on these hipfire kills. How many was it? Like 15, 25? I feel like we're like a few kills away from it. Ooh. Is that it? Yes, it is. We played like two games with this since we unlocked it, and we already have two of the camo challenges done. Shipment is a godsend. And it's the only place where you can have 55 kills and still go negative. All right, now that we're done with hip fire, I'm going to make this ADS as fast as possible and try to get the largest mag on here that I can. Okay. Cannot, uh, can't do that yet. We need to be level 16. But everything else we can do. And we need to get to level 15 to even work on our next camo challenge. Come on. Let me just start working on it now. What the fuck? Why are people just spawning right on me? Okay, I take everything what I said about the spawns back. They're not the greatest, but it did give me a VTOL, so I take the good with the bad. I think I probably doubled my VTOL count for like this whole game just today. I only started using them as a kill streak like a week ago. Probably called in like four, and now I've had games where I've called in four. That's just the shipment effect. Oh my Lanta. I wish I had the kills from behind challenge already. It would be done. Okay, level 15. That means now we can go for double kills. This should be the fastest ever I've gotten double kills done. As long as people are near each other. I, I probably just jinxed myself. Let's not, let's not give ourselves the camo curse this fast, all right? Shipment may be fast for camos, but it, it's not going to be fast for the camo curse. Okay, maybe it is. I don't think I've gotten a single double kill yet. Oh, wait, there it is. As I'm saying, and we actually got one. You know what? I'm switching my perks. We're going with our normal perk package. I need Battle Hardened on here. They're using too much shit. That's another double. And the game's over. Fuck. And we can finally put on the 45 round mag. We should be tearing now. Do I even need a different barrel on this? I can go no barrel and then maybe under barrel. Let's try that out. There's a double. I was starting to get a little concerned that I wasn't getting them as fast. Like the second I unlocked the challenge for it, I was getting no double kills. Now I'm just running into everybody that saved their shotguns for shipment, and it's been awful. I've just been getting blasted by them. Jeez. I'm getting steamrolled. Hey, uh, what? Okay. All right. Now the spawns are affecting me, so I'm pissed about it. I've not gotten a kill in like five minutes. It's just spawn die, spawn die. Please let me get some doubles. That's all I want. Don't make the lobbies hard now that I got challenges to do. There's a double, thank god. Jeez. I probably went 11 and 48 that game. Oh no, 11 and 30. That's just shipment for you. Sometimes you drop 100 kills, sometimes you get 100 kills dropped on you. This game's gonna go different though. We're gonna get all of our double kills done and then work on our kills from behind. And hopefully we don't run into too many people with riot shields on their back. Ooh, we'll take a triple too. And I think this thing's fully leveled now. I don't need to use decoys anymore. So let me throw a stim on here. And then after this game, instead of high alert, I'm putting on quick fix. That shit's got to be busted on this map. Because having high alert on this map makes it look like Breaking Bad Mexico. It's just constantly on the screen whenever I'm like in sight of anyone. Oh, there we go. That's another one. Oh, actually, that was a triple somehow. If I had to guess, I'd say we need like one more double kill. If I just keep getting one kill and then immediately getting fried by like eight different directions. Holy shit, and we somehow won the game. I'm pretty sure I went 34 and at least 60. Oh, 34 and 45. I could not catch a break that game. Oh, what? I still need three more double kills? What? I feel like I've gotten so many more than seven. Whatever. At least we have four kills from behind already. Okay, we just need like one more double kill and we're good. That should be it right there. 
Show me the camo. Thank you. Now kills from behind. Present yourself to me. That should be a kill from behind for sure. I was scared we weren't going to get any this game, but we at least have one. Because my first few games of shipment, everyone's just running around going crazy. My last few games, they just all kind of stick to their like spawn and just, you know, watch the angles there. It's a much smarter way to play. Don't get me wrong, but it's not helping me out here for these camos. Ooh, that's got to be one. Holy fuck. This is insane. It's just constant flashbangs going off. People spawning in fucking every nook and cranny. Everyone's got like flame shotguns. I don't know if this is heaven or hell. Right now it's feeling like hell. All right, so out of the 55 kills that game, how many were from behind? I'm going to say like four. Survey says, yep, about four. All right now, who wants to help a man out and give me 45 kills from behind, please? Not asking for much. Or if maybe 45 is too much, maybe give me like... I don't know. Eight of them, maybe less. I feel like that's a fair negotiation. Okay, I think that's one. I think that was another one. Come on, I just need a few more people to show me their butthole. Just go ahead and face that thing towards me and I can shoot you in the back of the head. After another full game, we got three more. Also, after a few games of forgetting, I finally switched to quick fix and uh, we'll see if it works as soon as I get this unlocked. Still so dumb that you have to unlock your perks throughout the game. This is like the worst perk system I've ever seen. All right, we have quick fix unlocked now. Now, if we can get any kills, this is a different question. It only really works if you're getting kills. Ooh, eat that little bitch. Oh, that should be one. Perfect. Come on, show me the camo already. There we go. Now we just need to get three kills without dying 10 times with this. And then we have all the camos for it besides platinum because I ain't doing long shots today. Doing long shots on the day shipment comes out is like blasphemy. Oh, of course. The second I don't need kills from behind, it spawns me right behind somebody. The game knows what you need to do to get your camos and it does everything that's power to just stray you away from that. They do not like to help out. Don't fuck around with me now, shipment and camo curse. I know you guys are trying to team up on me. Let me get these three kills without dying. And let me get out of here. So I know it's possible to just do this all in one game. We can get literally every camo in one game if we wanted to. Look at that. That's another kill from behind. What I'm not even going from anymore. Everybody shows me their back the second I don't need them. This is so fucked up. It has to be intentional. Cool. And my computer crashed. Sick. Did any of my camo progress save as my computer was shitting itself? Oh, cool. It's not even saying I'm getting three kills without dying. Oh, I guess it is. It's just saying I don't have it unlocked. Like, I don't have the gold camo challenge unlocked, but it's saying I got three out of ten kills without dying. So that's not awful. Let's try to get this done before my computer explodes. There we go. That's three right there. A nice little triple. We just need to do that, like, seven more times. Maybe six. There we go. That's another one. Oh, no. Bad time to run out of ammo. Everybody was right there. Awful time. Get the fuck out of the way, riot shield bitch. Dude just jumped in front of me and blocked every single one of my bullets. Ooh, there's two already. Don't kill me, please. There's three. Now, if I just do that two more times, we're done with it. Come on. Oh, of course I run out of ammo. Come on, right here. Damn it. That was two. Camo curse. Fuck off. Oh, god damn it. It would be with only one left, too. Will we even be able to equip it once we unlock gold? Because it still says I don't have all the camo challenges done. You gotta love it. New update, new bugs. Come on. Just one more time. That's all I need. Not asking for a whole lot. Oh, here it is. Oh, come on. That was nothing but hit markers on that last guy. Here it is. Nope. Died on two again. Gotta stay calm. Gotta keep our composure. The camo curse is trying to get to us. I won't let it happen. And god damn it. Two again. Okay, that's two. Where's lucky number three hiding at? Oh, here it is. Fuck you. There's two again. There's three. Finally. And we're all done. Now let's back out of this game and see if we can even equip it. And we throw gold on here. Oh, we can. Sick. Even though it's kind of bugged out. We can toss it on. All right. And this is what the Chimera looks like in game with gold. Not bad. They really did a great job with coverage in this game. So you don't really have to worry about it on any gun. And it goes the same for this. Very good weapon. 
and glad that shipment's back so there you have it we got the new chimera gold and we played on shipment for a bit uh it's basically the same as you remember it there's no jumping on top of the crates anymore but you're gonna be getting lots of kills on it you're gonna be getting killed lots of times so it's a lot of back and forth but that's gonna do it for today i'll see you guys next time later